order to thrill today's discriminating audiences, films often require unique and specialized makeup effects. Over the past 20 years, Tibor Farkas has been perfecting this art form to the point that he is now one of the top FX people in Vancouver. Yeah, you know, when I started, it was, boy, back about 71, I guess. Uh, there wasn't many people in the country that knew or could even pronounce prosthetics at that time. Uh, and I was still sort of the tail end of high school. I really wanted to be an actor way back when, but uh, as the more I learned about that particular part of the business, the more I realized that it was going to be a really tough go to make any sort of a living. So uh, I opted out for, uh, for makeup. Uh, went off to LA, did that sort of traditional thing and tried to break in down there. It wasn't too bad for me down there, but I guess I got a bit homesick and decided to try and make a go of it up here. Uh, it takes an awful long time to get good at this craft. There's so many parts to it and so many individual and tiny minute details that you have to pay attention to. And each of those takes a, a fair bit of time to learn. Uh, there's also such a wide variety of skills and technical knowledge that you need that it's virtually impossible to uh, well, to learn it in sort of a one course or one event type situation. Consequently, you're always learning. Every project you get is uh, a new challenge, uh, poses new problems. We were approached by Cannell to, uh, to age the entire cast for 21 Jump Street. The only thing they didn't tell us before we made the deal is that we'd only have 12 days to create six old age characters, which is uh, quite a piece to do in that kind of time. Nonetheless, being the kind of uh, energetic people that we are, uh, we delivered everything that they asked. And uh, you'll see what the results are. They're, they're pretty astounding when you think most of these people are in the range of uh, 25 to 27 years old. Do you want me to talk in the hallway like two moms or something? After what I went through, we had plenty to consult about. Up here, this young lady here who seems to have a, a bit of a chest problem is uh, the woman that gave birth to Extro. Now, she was originally made to be lying down, so uh, she looks a little funny in that position. But you can see the big, huge split right up the middle of her, and that's where uh, Extro eventually comes out. Not your usual C-section, but it seemed to work for us for the situation, you know? You know, here's, a, here's an appliance from uh, Friday the 13th. This was sort of Jason's face in the great unmasking scene. It wasn't quite painted like that, but uh, it's one of the old appliances we had. And again, this was designed through most of the show. Uh, the actor doesn't expose his face until the very end of the show. So the way we made this is we had sort of a, a large opening through here and the back of the head would be on and the front just this portion here and of course Jason wears a hockey mask so that would cover that his face portion so we never really had to put this final detail on until the very end of the show where he rips off the hockey mask and exposes uh, the ugliness underneath as it were. So you can see that there's more than meets the eye here and there's a lot of technology, a lot of knowledge and an awful lot of learning and I think the most of all it's an awful lot of making mistakes because let's face it that's how we all learn. Uh, the other thing though is once you've acquired these skills you can apply them in a lot of different areas. Uh, for instance I've had the, uh, the good fortune to be involved in West Edmonton Mall for which I designed the last third of the submarine ride, uh, designed pieces for the Olympic Hall of Fame and we did an awful lot of work at Expo 86. So. I hope this gives you a little bit of insight at least into what special effects makeup is and just how big you can get with it or how small you can stay with it. It really depends on the individual and just where your drive is and where you want to get to. Uh, thanks for coming by and next time bring a hoagie.